cryoglobulinemia cryoglobulinemia the presence of large amounts of cryoglobulins in the blood cryoglobulin is a circulating protein specifically immunoglobulin ie ig igm iga or light chain that clumps together or precipitates when exposed to cold and dissolves when warmed they may be present in small quantities in the blood of some healthy people but are most frequently associated with abnormal protein production in a variety of diseases and conditions like inflammation and organ damage symptoms bruising rashes purpura skin ulcers gangrene joint pain muscle pain weakness fatigue reno phenomenon associated diseases infections lyme disease infectious mononucleosis hepatitis c and hiv aids autoimmune diseases systemic lupus erythematosus rheumatoid arthritis sjogren syndrome diseases characterized by an increase in lymphocytes multiple myeloma lymphoma lymphoid leukemia vasculitis kidney disease types type i composition monoclonal ig igm iga or their kappa or lambda light chains associated diseases hematological diseases particularly mgus smoldering multiple myeloma multiple myeloma waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia and chronic lymphocytic leukemia type e most common composition monoclonal igm plus polyclonal ig are rarely iga associated diseases infectious diseases particularly hepatitis c infection hiv infection and hepatitis c and hiv coinfection hematological diseases particularly b cell disorders autoimmune diseases type e composition polyclonal igm plus polyclonal ig or iga associated diseases autoimmune diseases particularly sjogren syndrome and less commonly systemic lupus erythematosus and rheumatoid arthritis infectious diseases particularly hcv infection mechanisms that cryoglobulins cause tissue damage increase blood viscosity reduces blood flow to tissues to cause hyperviscosity syndrome headache confusion blurry or loss of vision hearing loss and epistaxis deposit in small arteries and capillaries plugs these blood vessels in causes infarction and necrosis of tissues including in skin distal extremities and kidneys deposit on the endothelium activates the blood complement system to form pro-inflammatory elements such as c5a initiating the systemic vascular inflammatory reaction cryoglobulinemic vasculitis cryoglobulin test to detect the presence and relative quantity of cryoglobulins in the blood the sample is kept at or near body temperature during sample preparation it is then refrigerated for 72 hours and examined daily up to seven days for precipitates if there are any present then the Quantity is estimated and the sample is warmed to determine whether the precipitates dissolve. If they do, then it is positive. It will be followed by protein electrophoresis, immunofixation, electrophoresis, that measures certain proteins to determine the types of cryoglobulins and type of cryoglobulinemia. Treatment. Drugs to the underlying condition nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs nsaids corticosteroids other immune suppressants plasmapheresis in case the symptoms are severe to reduce the amount of cryoglobulins in the blood by exchanging blood plasma for donor plasma cf cold agglutinin disease 